Hi, my name is John Otto. I'm the category manager here at Perch for Trucks, specializing in wheel end systems. Today we're going to uh, speak about and talk about and discuss eight hole and 10 hole hub piloted wheel systems, which are most common in the industry today. We need to start to deter by determining whether you're working with a rim or a wheel. They are not the same, however very similar. This is a rim. It does support the tire, however it has an adapter ring and mounts to a spoke wheel. There are no bolt holes in it. This is a wheel. It has the portion to support the tire and it has a disc welded in it with bolt holes in it. So your car has a wheel. It doesn't have a rim. It has bolt holes to attach it. Now, over the years there have been two wheel systems. The first one was known as the ball seat mount and the, and the bolt holes were chamfered. They had a 28 degree chamfer in them and they used a chamfered wheel nut on the front and on the drives and on trailers on dual wheels they used an inner nut called a thimble nut and many people were very familiar with them and an odor nut and many people did not like the system. So what evolved out of Europe was known as the hub piloted system. It uses a two-piece flange nut. They swivel very nicely when they're in good shape and the bolt holes are punched directly straight and the wheels pilot on the hub. So what is hub pilot? Well, the wheel and the drum are both piloted on pads that are on the hub. And just a reminder here today, we are not talking anything about the bearing adjustment. We are strictly talking about the mounting the wheel. Just so a 10 hole or an eight hole hub pilot system is metric. It's not English thread, it's metric. It's 22 mil, 1.5 pitch. So these studs are right hand thread versus a ball seat where there's rights and lefts. There's lefts on the left side of the vehicle, rights on the right side. These are strictly right hand thread. They're M22 pit, or thread, 1.5 pitch. Once again, the wheel is punched straight through. You can now see the pilot pads, thus hub piloted. A ball seat mount is piloted on the studs. A hub pilot is piloted on these pilot pads that are part of the wheel hub. This is the brake drum, and the brake drum also pilots on the pads down here. So it, an important thing to look for when you pilot that drum on is in here on the pilot pads, and we'll get into that in further depth, but these are pads, so the wheel and the drum pilot on the pads. With regards to the tools that are necessary, um, it's a must that you have these. You can use different variations, but certainly you need an impact gun. It's good to have a small impact gun. The majority of the hex um, size on these wheel nuts, on these metric wheel nuts is 33 mil. You're gonna want some sort of form of wire brush, wire wheel, certainly not a grinding disc. You're also going to need oil. It's the only system, wheel system, that does require some lubrication. And of course you need a properly calibrated and maintained torque wrench in order to torque the wheel properly to gain the proper clamping force. Thank you for joining us for this session where we talked, discussed about the components and identification of the hub piloted wheel system and the basics of the system that you see in front of us here. Uh, should you have any questions, uh, please contact one of our branches or visit us at www.partsfortrucks.com.